Hey what's up, my name is PJ and in this short video, I'm going to show you how to get the white room effect even when your photos aren't taken in the studio. I hope you like it. So the reason it works for a photo like this is because it's all backlit, it's all natural light and the color's reasonably neutral. You can, you can change the color a bit with the white balance and the tint but um, it helps if it matches where the photo is going to go. So we're going to go for a neutral white or gray looking room and the rim lighting on the subjects is going to match that perfectly. And there's a crazy dog in the background. I say never work with kids or animals. So the first step, this is what it's going to look like. So the first step is to choose a hue saturation adjustment layer. Click on that. You're going to choose the little hand pointing up with the arrows left and right, and you're going to click on the first tones that you want to change. So in this case, I want to do the beigey brown carpet here, and we're going to drag that to the left. That's going to reduce the saturation, and I would also probably bump up that lightness a bit too. So it's done a good job to kill the colors, even the bleed in the background, the, the colors on the walls. Um, unfortunately it's done a bit too much. It's taken away from the shoes and the skin tones and yeah, it's done a little bit too much, but that's okay. You can see when you created this adjustment layer, it made a layer mask. It's all white at the moment. So if you choose your foreground color to black and grab a soft brush, with the layer mask selected, you can easily paint back in those tones that you lost. You don't have to be super careful because even if you go a bit over, you can just change it to white and you can paint back over those bits that you miss. So it's really easy, but it just takes a little bit of time to go through and um, yeah, paint back the tones that you've lost. As I said before, if you go a bit over, that's fine. Just change it to change it to white and go over the edges a bit. So I'm gonna I'm gonna fast forward. I'm gonna speed up this process a bit for the sake of the video. Cool, that looks pretty good so far. The next thing that stands out are the red tones on the little balcony area out here. So we're going to do exactly the same thing as before. Grab the hue saturation adjustment, make a new one. With this little hand, we're going to pull out those reds. Maybe lighten them up a bit as well. So in this case, because it's only a small amount of the photo that we need done, it's, it's not the whole background, we're going to invert this layer mask, command I, change it to black, and then we're going to do the opposite, we're going to fill in that with white, just to save us a bit of time. And again, the bits that you've missed, we can just switch the foreground color and paint it back in. Easy peasy. So I'm going to group these now. Command G and let's go before and after. Before and after. Before. It's a really cheap and easy way to get the studio effect. All it is is an apartment in the CBD of Melbourne. We've moved the furniture out and with the natural lighting, we've made it look like a studio. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, I just wanted to let you know I have a free ebook available on my website, bigpantsphoto.com. You can download it there for free. It's a gear guide on exactly what you need to take killer band promos. Give me a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.